So there are a number of reasons for tagging and releasing a fish. The first and the most obvious reason is to understand the movement patterns of, of that fish. So we know where it is when we tag it and where it is when we recapture it, so we can work out the distance that it's moved. Um, some fish are very resident, don't move a lot, others are highly migratory, so it gives us an idea of the movement behavior of that species. The second reason is to understand their growth rate. So when we tag it, we measure it, and when we recapture it, we measure it again, so we can work out at the time that it's been free how much that fish has grown, and we can use that information to validate other methods of aging fish, like using otoliths and so on. The third reason we use less often, but it's really to understand the dynamics of fish populations. We can use the number of fish that have been tagged and recaptured to work out the population size of the stock, and we can also work out mortality rates by using tag recapture. So all that information feeds in to studying the species and, and improving our knowledge of the, the species that we're studying. The reason for getting anglers from the public to help tag and release fish is that there's no ways that a small group of fishery scientists could go out and tag that number of fish over such a wide area in a, sh in a short time as a group of citizen scientists could. And the second reason is that involving anglers and the public in this project teaches them about all sorts of aspects like handling and releasing fish and also understanding the growth rates and the movement patterns of this fish to increase their knowledge so they feel part of the research that's being done. When this project started in 1984, most anglers would catch and kill their fish. And if they didn't want to eat them, they would leave them lying on the beach kind of thing. There was no understanding of the importance of, of release. We've seen a great shift in particularly the competition angling where the shore anglers, for example, now have adopted catch and release as their program, so they can't catch and kill fish anymore. They, they catch fish, they measure them, and they release them. It's really improving the sustainability of fishing by releasing your fish and not killing them.